Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers. And the December update with the Winter Wonderland now has some secret presents with apparently some secret parts for us to find somewhere. Now, I don't know exactly how to find them, but what the update says is the first present is quite heavy and it has the same shape as something that we already own. The second present is small and shaped like a T. Log in between December 1st and December 9th to find these blocks in the danger zone. So now, I don't even know if these blocks are on this particular part of the danger zone. It could be back in like the whole other area as far as I know, but I figured this is a good place to start. So let's explore here and see if we can find what they are referring to. And I figure what better way to search around than on our amazing snowmobile that we have built in the last episode. If you guys missed that episode where we, we took our first look at the Winter Wonderland over here, is that? Go check out that episode is what I was trying to say, but I got distracted because of this present, I don't remember a small present like this being here. Oh, okay, it's very light. Maybe we should crash into it with our jet ski. I mean, I keep, I keep wanting to call it a jet ski, but it's a snowmobile. At least his snowmobiles have skis and they kind of like look like a, oh. We did it! We unlocked a ornament, the Trailmaker's ornament. So that must be the one. The second present is small and shaped like a T. Okay, so that means that the first present is quite heavy. All right, so we gotta find the first present. So it must be one of the bigger ones. All right, so I guess we just gotta crash into the right present here. Is this it? Nope, I don't think that one was it. Maybe it's this green one over here. That one was green. Maybe they're the green ones. Uh... Nope, I don't think that's it either. Isn't this a great way to just pretty much face planting into all the all the presents and exploding ourselves? Seems like a really efficient way to go about this. All right, um, I don't think we hit this one yet. Let's try this one. Nope. Nope, not that one either. Hmm, wait, I'm not, fu oh, there we go. There we go. Th no, don't hit the, all right, as I was saying, there we go. There we go. Is this it? Nope, this isn't a doesn't appear to be it either. Said it was the first present is quite heavy. And it has the same shape. Or is he is he is that referring to the actual present itself? Like the, the gift inside the present, I mean? Or is it the box that is heavy? Maybe there's a small box. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I found it. I think I found it. There's a small box over here. Aha! Aha! You're not getting away from me, Mr. Present. There it is. What is it? A snowball dispenser, no way. No way, we're gonna be able to throw snowballs? All right, we gotta put a snowball dispenser on our snowmobile here. I was gonna call it a jet ski again. This is not a jet ski, it's a snowmobile. Jet skis are for water, snowmobiles are for snow. But wait a minute, isn't snow just water in another state of matter? Does that make a snowmobile a land jet ski? Or does that make a jet ski a water snowmobile? Asking the tough questions on this channel. Asking the tough questions. All right, anyway, we need to use, oh, that is a big snowball dispenser. How big, is this snowball gonna be the size of a beach ball? Is this basically a beach ball dispenser? Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's blurry. It's, I can't see anything. Why is it so blurry? And... Oh! That's a decent size. That's more like a snow boulder than a snowball, but hey, it's still something. I wonder uh, if they have any, like, if they have any force, like if they hit something. Let's just go ahead and put it right on the front of our snowmobile like this. I think that's gonna make a great snowmobile snowball shooter. Oh, it rolls too. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at it go. All right, I gotta do an experiment here. I want to run into my own snowmo or snowball, a snowmobile. I'm just getting all of my words mixed up today. We're gonna run into the snowmobile and see what happens. And uh, we already just did that before I could even finish the sentence. So apparently, I don't think it has much of an effect. Wait, what if we shoot a snowman with a snowball? All right, here we go, full speed. Eh. Oh, it works. It actually works. All right, so I wanna wait. What if we shoot a present with it? I bet it's not gonna do anything to the present. Whoa, okay, 
this thing this thing actually has a much bigger effect than I thought it was going to. All right, so that means we're going to have to shoot a vehicle with it. So let's go ahead and spawn in another snowmobile. And let's see what it does to a snowmobile. Does it have any damaging properties? All right, here we go. Okay. It, it hits it. It has a physical effect on it. But I don't know if it'll do any damage. Maybe it's just that part wasn't weak enough. Here, let's try the front. I can see, like, sparks. Uh, how many snowballs can you fire? Hold on, let me try that again just without it hitting things. Holy cow! That's awesome! So the beach balls, you could only ever have three at a time, but looks like the snowballs... I don't, is there a limit? Let's find the limit. Look at all... We're just... Oh, oh, we. I think we actually... We actually broke something. We have to create an avalanche. That's what we have to do. What if I just do this? Oh, okay, now you can see them start to disappear. All right, so there is a limit. <laughs> it's probably a good thing that there's a limit. Yeah, I see them all starting to disappear now. Okay, so what is the limit? Let's see if we can um, if we can get them all to stay in one spot. Um, is this gonna be like a good little valley? Are they all gonna? Oops, are they all gonna stay here? I'm not even counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no 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 no. Okay, good. Nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, eight. Oh, no, those ones are exploding. Oh, I lost count. We have to start over. Okay, I think we can have a better method of doing this. I need them to all to roll away from me downhill. So I'm going to start on the top of this hill. And then once we see the first one disappear, as long as we're keeping count fast enough, this should work. Okay, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I can't see the first one. Twenty. All right, so there is a limit of it looks like nineteen. I think nineteen or twenty snowballs, or snow boulders, or snowmobiles. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. Look at these. This is like an actual, oh, like an actual avalanche. All right, let's just see how many we can get before they all go into the water. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there goes one of our wheels. Okay, we're not doing so well anymore. Uh, oh, come on, keep going. Can we get any more? Trying to turn around here, and I think they are all gone. Okay. Whoa! What just happened? Did we hit, did we hit something? All right, so now... Now that we have this... Oh, wait. I didn't actually look at what the T thing was. I think it's the Trailmakers logo or something. I'm assuming it's like a hood ornament. There it is. So we got Trailmakers. Oh, that's actually smaller. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Now it's like an aimer. Like a crosshair. Not a very good crosshair. I mean, maybe let's go to first person. Hey! That's actually not too bad. Yeah. Okay, so now what I want to do is create an actual device that can hold all 19 snow boulders and then release them all at the same time. And essentially, we're going to create an avalanche. But I try and, I'm trying to see what is like going to be the best hill to do this on. We want them to have the longest time rolling down so that way we can react or like not or get set up with what we want to set up. I think maybe this direction looks decent. Yeah, let's, let's spawn them, like, right here. And we're gonna let them roll down in that direction. Alright, so I don't exactly know what this contraption is gonna look like yet. It's probably just gonna be, like, a big box of sorts. And we'll see what happens. Alright, so, um, I just tried to test out a basic prototype here. So the idea was that these were gonna shoot out the balls. They'd be held in this little area that's not complete yet. I'm just doing a quick test just to see if I'm on the right track. And I'm not. I'm not. I totally forgot that the balls that come out of the cannons are actually bigger than the cannon barrels themselves. So when I shoot all of these, this happens. I, I didn't realize how much space that these snow boulders actually take up. And uh, basically, we're going to need a much bigger contraption here. All right, so it looks like if I have them staggered every other one... Then they can successfully 
just be put out straight from the cannon. This is not quite as simple as I expected it was going to be, but uh, we're going to figure this out. Okay, another quick prototype test to see if we're on the right track, and clearly we're just not. I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. We don't need to hold them all in order to do this. We could just have this automatically trigger and create an ever-flowing avalanche. What was I thinking? So I think I should be able to, if I set this to toggle and then set the seconds to stay active when receiving input every one second, let's just do that. Okay, so then we'll just have it reset its active time after one second. So now if I press the button, is it gonna keep re-triggering? Aha! And now what if I get out? We got it. We have our avalanche maker. We totally have an avalanche maker. So now I just gotta put this in an air. I just gotta make it so that it's gonna be nice and stable. We're gonna put some weights on this thing. We don't need like this whole front portion is just useless now. So this is pretty much all we need. And I just gotta make sure that it can uh, stay stable. All right, this thing looks pretty stable to me. All right, so now let's just make it so that it fires a lot quicker and uh, this will be a lot more fun. How's that feel? Oh, where did it, it's gone? All right, bring it back, please. There we go. Okay, too fast. Too fast. All right, we need to stagger this a little bit. Here's what needs to happen. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna use one. I got a perfect idea. I just, as I said that, I just thought of a brand new idea. I'm gonna use one, and I'm gonna set it to basically be like a turret that just turns back and forth uh, with a certain amount of degrees, and it's gonna spit out snow boulders to create our avalanche very rapidly okay ladies and gentlemen after some messing around with some logic and things i think i figured out our avalanche generator so basically it's a turret that just continuously turns back and forth while continuously firing back and forth and we're not in the best spot right now i'm just kind of in a random spot but as you can see it creates a decent spread of snow boulders and I think it'll be fun to point this thing down a hill and then do our best to drive our snowmobile up through the chaos and just see what, it, just see how it is. Just see what happens. I mean, we're just here to have some fun with these new parts and stuff. So let's see how this works on uh, this part right here. So I'm curious right now is how far are these going to reach? I mean, they're going a decent ways down. What we can do is if they're not reaching far enough, then we could just slow down the uh, fire rate a little bit and then they'll reach farther before we reach the limit. But as you can see, they're going down pretty far. And I think like if we're going down here, here, let's just see what it's like to walk up through this. Wow, look at that. This actually, this from this angle, this looks a lot more dense than I thought actually. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. It's like an actual avalanche of boulders right now. Not like a real avalanche, and real avalanche is just a sheet of snow. But uh, this is actual, like, snowball boulders. This is cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? I don't know if you guys saw that, but this was, like, disappearing on my screen. That was weird. So I gotta be honest, at first I thought 20 snowballs was a lot, but now that I'm doing an actual avalanche generator, this I wish there was more. I wish I could go, oops, I should not stand right in front of the avalanche generator. Although, oh, the, the gnome just got taken out. All right, here it goes. Let's just take a quick look at how the trajectory is looking. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're getting too far away here. Getting a little bit too far away. All right, now they're spawning back in. We can't even see them all the way up there. That's kind of crazy. All right, oh, you know what? This snowmobile, look at this. Oh, we kind of hit that one. This snowmobile at slow speeds has some decent control. I like that. Uh oh, all right. What, what, can we just like slam through with all of them on the way back down? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> all right, maybe this isn't gonna be as difficult as I thought it was, but uh, it's fun nonetheless. All right, here we go up the hill. All right, these these do not have. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say they do not. Uh, stop it! I was gonna say they do not have quite the impact or stopping power that I was hoping they would with this avalanche here. So that's kind of tempting me now. I want to put it back on like the super fa Oop. I want to put it back on like the super fast firing so they won't go down as far and they'll be more spread out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eh, eh. 
<laughs> but this would be fun if we had like a metal ball generator version of this that's like a lot more devastating to drive into with your vehicle. Let's put this at uh, twice as fast. There we go. Now we're going twice as fast on the fire rate. So let's see what this is like to drive through. You know what? I think first person is the way to go with this. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, first person is awesome on this thing. I don't know why I didn't try this out before. All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. Let's see if we can get through how far we can... Oh, 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 this is so much more intense than first person. I'm so glad I decided to do first person, but we totally made it. I don't even know if we have any damage. Here, we can actually check like this. All right, we have minimal damage. Just one of the ends of our skis got taken off. So let's go back through this way. Let's see if we can actually weave through them this time. Whoa. Okay, this is pretty fun. I really like the first person on this a lot. All right, here we go. Going back up through them. All right, let's actually try to dodge them now. All right, oh, okay. That, I'm not doing a good job at dodging. Okay, I think we lost the ski. Oh, all right, we didn't explode. We, didn't, we did not explode, but we definitely lost the ski. All right, we're going back down. I really like first person on this thing. This is a really fun creation to use first person. And I I don't think I've ever used first person with the go-kart seat. At least not that I remember. And I like seeing the wheel in front of me actually turning. So that's kind of fun. All right, here we go again. Here we go. I really like this idea. The avalanche generator. And trying to just <laughs> drive in first person through the crazy snowballs. Oh, that's fun. Whoa. Whoa. All right, we're freaking out again. I think when one of my skis uh, gets destroyed, you can see, I think the, the steering hinge interacting with the ground makes it glitch out a little bit. All right, this time I'm just gonna try to go full speed directly into the cannon, but I'm actually going to increase my engine power here. We're gonna give ourselves a couple more engines. Three times the power? All right, here we go. Faster should be more devastating. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Well, they actually slowed us down enough so that we couldn't break the actual uh, avalanche generator. Because I'm pretty sure if we if we went full speed into the generator, it would have exploded. But the last couple of hits there really slowed, our, slowed down our momentum. So we just didn't have enough to break the generator. So that's my goal now, is I want to be able to maintain enough speed through the avalanche to slam into the generator and disable it. It's kind of like an attack and defend like a tower defense thing where we have to disable, there we go. Look at that, that's what I wanted right there. Destruction. Oh, well that was kind of fun. I did, I honestly, when I started this episode, I didn't know what the presents were. I had no idea there was gonna be a snowball generator and it turned into like this fun mini challenge of creating an avalanche generator and trying to destroy it. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, next week, there should be new presents available in the world. I think if I remember correctly, there might be three after the ninth. So uh, we'll definitely be doing that. But in the meantime, if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments. And what was your favorite part of this episode? Looking forward to seeing your feedback. This has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.